So Finn calls this my Suki. Suki is like the little tricycle driver that you always call when you need a ride. Bye Suki! Hmm? Critter Hunter. Morning. Good morning from paradise. Dude, I gotta say, uh, getting up early here is, is not a chore. I remember back home, probably you too, where you get up early and you, you get up because you have to get up. You have to go to work or school or whatever. It's like a drag. You don't feel like getting up. But here, no alarm clock, anything. You're just like pumped, ready to get up early. Go see the beach. Sunrise. You're messaging me like, let's get out here and see the sunrise on the beach before I all the people. I woke up 5 a.m. I went to the sunrise. <laughs> it's just paradise, man. This is the life. And to make life even better, of course, we're going diving. And hopefully today, we're going to cross some critters off your list. So what is this list we're talking about? Basically, we have created the ultimate critter list of little critters that we want to film in the wild. And we're going to try to find all of these for Finn. Now, I haven't posted the episode yet, but on our last dive together, we actually got to cross off the ornate ghost bite fish. And we're hoping that today we can find the pygmy seahorse. So, fingers crossed. As usual, I'm diving here in Dowin. And I'm heading over to Pura Vida to catch the dive boat with Finn. Oh. We're diving with nitrox today and Pure Vita requires us to check our own tanks. So <laughs> what the heck is that? What's that? <laughs> Finn. Finn. <laughs> with Y. It's all good. <laughs> you gotta bury the leaves. That's how you get rid of the leaves from all these stupid trees. Anyway, let's go diving. Now this is a dive boat. Dude, how about this boat? We're the biggest! There's only two of us! <laughs> I can't believe I've never been on this boat. It's so huge. You can't really tell from the shore. Look at all this cabin space. It's like, this is where you sit down and talk about the huge monsters you missed. <laughs> We're gonna go drone. Yeah, so we got the camera set up here, all done. I'm gonna pop out the drone. Try to get a nice shot of us uh, sailing. It's a bit windy, so it's gonna be a Yeah, but since it's, it's, it's our boat today, we can tell them to stop or whatever. Right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> You know it's gonna be a good day when I team up with him, Bradley from Sea Explorers and Finn Snow. We're definitely gonna find some critters today. At this dive site, I ran into quite a few of these banded sea crates. They're everywhere on this site and they really don't mind me filming them apparently. This one is really cool and it's one of the few shots I tried with this camera that's not a super macro shot. I guess it was good to test out the wide angle and it did good as long as the light could reach. Here's another one just sleeping under a rock or well whatever he's doing under there. I didn't get too close to ask. It's not all sea snakes here. I found the world's ugliest looty break. Seriously, I think he joined the contest and he actually won the world's ugliest looty break. If not, he should. I also ran into these two weird green decorator crabs that had little fabulous hats. There's actually two, but I just filmed the one with the coolest little hat. The other one didn't really have a hat. Of course, no dives complete if you don't find some weird crab staring at you from the abyss. But 
I'm not really here for strange crabs. We're here for the pygmy seahorses. And somebody finally called us over and found some. So our first hard task of the day was finding these little dudes. They're so tiny about the size of my pinky fingernail. But the second hard task is filming them without harming them with bright lights. So we talked about it on the boat, about our strategy and how we're gonna do it. And basically we're setting our lights on very, very dim and having them at quite a distance away. Not close up like you normally would with little critters that I film like crabs and shrimp so these guys aren't going to be lit up at all and i'm hoping i didn't have many focus problems honestly i was just happy to find them i haven't seen these guys in over two years probably and they were one of the top critters on finn's bucket list and one that i thought would take a lot longer to find finn's only been diving with me for two days and he's already crossing some cool stuff off his list I think we might have to make a much longer list. As you can see, these guys are some of the coolest seahorses on the planet. There's eight seahorse species in the world, and this is just one of three that is in Philippines, the Bargabants Pygmy Seahorse. As you can tell, I was having quite a hard time getting this guy to look at me. Obviously, photographers want that iconic face shot. But with no lie and not being able to maneuver around that Gargonian sea fan of his, I really had to just film what I could get. I bet Finn was having the same problem filming it as well. But our main concern was not blinding him with bright lights. We were both happy to see these guys and it was an amazing dive. Glad to cross this one off the list. Damn, this wave's got big. It's a little bit wavy on here. So, yeah, it's recording. All right. Pygmies. Pygmies checked. Oh my God. What's next? Seahorse, flamboyant, harlequin. But how how's the footage? Did you get some good footage of the pygmy? Yeah, I mean, uh, we filmed this slow motion, so I hope it came out right. I made a mistake that I didn't use floaters. I thought I was good to be too heavy, so I had to balance it really hard. But uh, we still saw it. Heavy with it. So we're crossing. I saw, I saw a, your little preview, and it's that camera has epic color. I mean, we couldn't use a lot of light or anything, so I think I think you're gonna have some awesome footage. Yeah, the strength of my camera is in the low light, and that was we were at 30 meters, and we're using the lowest settings on our lights, not to damage the pygmy or harm him. So uh, I think it came out pretty good, I think. Yeah, and I really wish I would have found a pygmy on my first day in freaking Delwyn. <laughs> so you're spoiled. Uh, I got some footage too. Well, you guys already saw it, but. He's got the A7S3. I want you to go to his channel and, you know, it's gonna be awesome footage, I'm sure. And then right now, we're gonna go do another dive at a whole other dive site, see if we can check off more stuff. But, dude, we checked off Pygmy Seahorses, and that's a, I thought that was gonna be. That's a new one. I thought that was gonna be a hard one. Yeah, that was number seven, I think. And uh, we're getting there. I'll, I'll cross it off. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, well. Stay tuned for the next episode. Go watch his thing right now to see the footage he got. And then I'll see you. Let's see if we cross something off for the next dive.